Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video. It's been a very long time since we've stepped foot on 4B40. And I'm very lucky that my watermark on my videos covers my cords because that would have leaked my base and I would have had to start this recording over. And I'm not about that. So as you can see, I'm back on 4B40. You can see the hack features I'm using. Um, and I'm definitely out of date on the WWE version. I'm sorry, uh, WWE creator, I have not kept up because I have not played Minecraft in forever. But I wanted to come on, see if anybody's hit up my base, see if anybody's done anything to my base, and see what's been going on on 4B4T since the last time I played, probably six months ago. So it looks like somebody has hit up my base a little bit. Whether it was... I took out this door last time I was here, so that was me. So it looks like they didn't do much when it came to ruining my base, but somebody definitely found it and definitely took some of my slabs at least. But as you can see, this room wasn't touched because there's nothing in it. Um, sprint to shift, that's right. Oh shit. Server's really laggy. Somebody took all my name or my melons. Did anybody take these? No. Okay. I was starting to build another one of those and I never finished it. And then this was for um, duping. But we'll go back the opposite direction. God, this server is laggy. Who's running a lag machine? Jesus Christ. Anybody take my shit from this chest? Because I had some shit in here. Wow, they didn't take my books and picks. I'm surprised. Um. Some of my chests are gone. This was my portal. They killed all my villagers. Whoever hit up my base killed all my villagers. That sucks. I spent a lot of time on that. Let's see down here. God, this bait, this server, no wonder I stopped playing it. They didn't hit up this area, so the spider spawner still works. That's cool. I wonder how much of this they hit up and what they... Uh, how much of this they actually found. Because as you guys know, I'm kind of like the mole of this server. Not in a bad way, like, oh, I'm going to out somebody for their bullshit. Um, I definitely didn't hide. I didn't hide on this server. I never did. I just took fall damage from lag on stairs. Okay. But they definitely found my area. I didn't make it hard to find. So, you know, that's on me. But the TPS is at 4.3. Like, come on, man. At least have an anti freaking lag plugin or something. I want to run to my other bases that are attached to this to see if they're still up and running. Um, like there's a zombie spawner down that way that's an EXP farm. There's a uh, spot where I used to auto fish underneath me, villages that way. And then there's also some spider farms and stuff some other directions. But overall, it might be worth rebuilding and making this base great again, <laughs> if you can see what I did there. But if this is how the TPS is all the time on 4B4T, I'm not going to bother. So I wanted to make an update video about 4B because I've had a couple people ask me about it in private messages on Discord lately. So I just wanted to make some sort of update on it. It's been a long time. I definitely want to get back into Minecraft, but I also want to launch my own server and I don't want to launch a server that's like every other server. You guys know me. I like Anarchy Survival. That's what I personally enjoy. So if that's what I personally enjoy, that's what I want to run. But Anarchy Survival servers on, you know the highest difficulty possible are a dime a dozen these days because of the 2b2t boom with uh camping rusher i want to do something more 
1.14 introduced data packs and 2b2t is not updating to 1.13 because they can't and there's a couple other servers that aren't updating as well i would like to try to update or I would like to try to launch a server that's 1.14 with data pack mods. And the thing with the data pack mods is I'm going to randomly select data packs that I find on multiple websites, upload them to the server, not tell any of you guys what they are, and just make it a free for all. Nobody on server is going to have OP privileges just a bunch of data packs, bunch of mods, bunch of fun things and see what we can do because data packs can do everything from the cave update if you watch Captain Sparkles. Um god that feels gay to say. In before somebody is insulted by me saying the word gay. Um in that uh, aspect of wording um that's how you end up on C no i have to say the n word to end up on cnn that's what happened with pewdiepie that's right anyway um enough of my crappy sense of humor if you're interested in a survival anarchy hacks are allowed no anti-cheat nobody's op as far as uh server admin privileges on the server itself with data packs that you guys have no idea what they are let me know in the comments down below um i'm definitely interested in launching a server like that and seeing if we can get something fun going because i feel like the treasure hunt of figuring out what the data pack features are is going to be way more fun than just standard survival Especially if you have no idea what the features are. I could hide things that are like custom building wands, you know? And you literally copy your structure and can paste it. I can do like dev wands in a data pack. You have no idea. I can add completely new weapons with data packs now. You have no idea. I can add emerald armor. You wouldn't know until you try to make it. So if you're interested in this server idea, let me know in the comments down below. I'll get it launched and it'll be private whitelisted at first because I want to, you know, beta test, make sure there's no bugs, it doesn't crash all the time. But if everything goes well, we'll make it public. So hit me up on Discord, the Facebook page, or comments down below. We'll go from there. I'll talk to you guys later. I have not yet seen a survival anarchy server with mod packs. Or, well, not mod packs, but uh, data pack mod packs. So, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll launch it on either 1.14 or 1.15. Probably 1.15, because 1.14 is a laggy mess for multiplayer. So, and that, and 1.15 fixed a lot of that. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.